Good morning, everybody. My name is Shirley Feistman. We're standing here in the holiest place on earth. And there's a very famous story of once a person, he lived in a very small apartment, and he was complaining to his neighbor, and his neighbor happened to be a very wise man, and his, his friend, his neighbor said, why don't you do, you know what? Go grab all your goats from the yard, bring them into, inside your house, brought them inside the house. He said, now it's even smaller, now it's more, even more crowded. He says, now I want you to go and take all the chickens, bring them in the house. He went and brought all the chickens in the house. He said, I barely have room to walk, I'm about to walk on cracking eggs, I'm, I'm stepping on chickens when I walk in my house. He said, now I want you to go and bring all of your tools from your shed, put them in your bedroom. He goes and does this, and before you know it, he comes back and complains, he says, listen, I, I can't live in my house, I don't have any room. So the wise one said, now I want you to take everything out. So he went and he took everything out of the house, and magically he said, wow, it feels so spacious, There's so much room. We're here in 770. The problem is, year in and year out, week in, week out, so many people coming in to 770 that you never get to feel that feeling of spaciousness. We owe it to ourselves, we owe it to our children, we owe it to the Rebbe. This is every single Yid's personal headquarters. This is the place where the Beis HaMikdash is going to come first. And when the day comes, when someone comes and asks you to be involved with expanding and building and beautifying 770, make sure you're there. Thank you.